Jose Marichan had a beautiful melancholic song in the 80s entitled Constant Change. Would you like me to sing it for you? <laughs> Never mind. John F. Kennedy said that change is a love life. And the hardest changes to understand and adapt to are the ones that are unexpected and beyond our control. A recession, a global pandemic, or loss of a loved one. Changes of this magnitude are difficult to accept, but our experience of these kinds of changes can be made better or worse depending on our reaction, perspective, and mindset. Those who deal best with change adapt faster and more effectively. So, how can we best cope with change? To encourage and equip us, I have six ways to deal with change. Would you like to know about them? If you do, please watch till the end of this video. For easy recall, I devised a mnemonics for the six ways to deal with change. And what better mnemonic is there except for the word change itself? So, it's C-H-A-N-G-E, change. C is for courage. Let us have courage by staying positive and proactive. We should refuse to behave like victims of change. Instead, we must manage our feelings get support, and do whatever we can to be part of the change. Let's be bold, fearless, and endure in fortitude. We have to keep in mind too that one of our body's ways of reacting to change is stress. We have to manage it. It's okay to feel stressed at times, but we should not dwell there for too long. We have to get out of there as soon as possible and move on. Moreover, have the courage to ask for help. Asking for help is a sign of strength, not of weakness. H is for humor. In the article, Laughter is the Best Medicine, published in the website Help Guide, it was said that humor lightens our burdens, inspires hope, and keeps us grounded, focused, and alert. Humor and laughter are good for our health. They help us deal with change and can benefit us physically, mentally, and socially. Physically, humor boosts immunity, lowers stress hormones, and prevents heart disease. Mentally, humor eases anxiety and tension, relieves stress, and strengthens resilience. And socially, humor attracts others to us. That's why I have a lovely, beautiful wife. Helps diffuse conflict and enhances teamwork. A is for adapt and accept. We have to understand that change is a natural part of life. By learning to accept that change is a natural occurrence in life, we can more quickly adapt when it happens. We have no choice but to adapt and accept change. Otherwise, we will be overtaken and defeated. COVID-19 had turned our world upside down, but we still have control over how we respond to the situation. We can choose to approach our circumstances with anger and take our feelings out on other people. Or, we can choose to see our predicament as a new opportunity and approach it with excitement. N is for new normal. We should shift away our focus from what we've lost and towards what's new. The new normal. This process may be slow and we might be reluctant to acknowledge it, but it's an essential part of dealing with change. The key here is to make a commitment to move on. 
the more change that is happening, the more important it is to stick to our regular schedule. Having some things that stay the same gives us an anchor. An anchor is a reminder that some things are still the same and it gives our brain a little bit of a rest. Sometimes, when we are going through a lot of change, it helps to write down our routine and check it off as we go. We can also incorporate in our routine stress-relieving and enjoyable activities into our day. G is for Grow and Gain. Change should be seen as an opportunity to learn from past mistakes and develop a new set of skills. Change, even drastic changes, help us grow as a person. They force us to improve ourselves and rise up from mediocrity. Because of change, we gain new insights, new skills, new strategies. We have to put ourselves in a place where we are going to grow, where we are going to be challenged and gain new exciting perspectives and enriching experiences. E is for expect your miracles. Pastor Joel Austin shares, Sometimes, the very things that we fight against, the very things that we think are trying to pull us down, is actually the hand of God trying to push us into a new season. And the way God works is He will steer us out of comfortable situations and put us in circumstances that force us to have faith. And just as God can supernaturally open doors, sometimes God will supernaturally close doors. We have to stay open for change and know that God is and will always be in control. Oftentimes, changes, even extreme changes, are setting us up for a better situation. We have to look back in our lives and recall the times when God's grace had provided for us, when His mercy and sovereignty had worked miracles in our lives. He did it before. God will surely do it again and again. This is a new season. Face it with faith. Let us be hopeful, expectant of our new miracles. They are on their way. And there you have them, friends. Those are my six ways to deal with change. What about you? How do you deal with it? I would love to know your thoughts. So please share your own strategies in dealing with change, if any, in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed watching this video, kindly click like and subscribe to my channel. You may want to click the bell icon too so that you will be notified whenever I upload new videos. Please feel free to share this to your friends. This is your Monday Habit Demands Word. Thank you. Keep safe. And God's speed, everyone.